Well, from fabulous food to fantastic fashion, it's time for the Fashion Fix. that music you know it's time for the fashion fix and are you really stylish South Africans for a taste of the best in fashion news well I hope so because it's fashion fix time on Vogue and on time and we're giving you everything you need to know to start your day and jumpstart the weekend looking and feeling your best so here to help us do just that and give us that stylish glow is Expresso fashion editor Nick Strelitz everybody and of course creative director and strategist Seth Shazzy make Hi. some noise <laughs> just the three of us oh there was two Claps. I heard a whistle. <laughs> I think it was great. Uh, we'll work on it. Things. We'll work on it. So, Nick, of course, this was a very, very big week for international fashion with the likes of New York Fashion Week shutting down the globe. Tell us more. What was the this situation? This has been ev everything we've talked about this week, I think, or my fashion has been about New York Fashion Week. It's one of the big four international catwalk events of the year, along with Paris, Milan, and London. So, we have to talk about it. When you talk about South African representation mm. in New York, which is incredible, yes. the likes of Nandi Medida, oh. television presenter wow. extraordinaire, wow. showcasing and debuting for her first time her own fashion collection called Color right. nice. for the Autumn Winter 18 on the New York main stage at Fashion what? Week. I mean, it's incredible to see a South African That's doing amazing. her thing there. Key takeouts, power suits from Nandi, power suits are a thing. Red, we talked about red being yeah, potentially the color yeah. for 2018, yeah. which I think it will be. Um, and African embellishments on <gasps> sort of quintessential, more contemporary, modern wear. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, this is all Ooh, her Jack. design. It's her vision. We're Amazing. seeing a South African star wow. in New York. I'm going to get you that, girl. That's out. Let's let's call awesome. Nandi. <laughs> and you know what? This you. seems to be the world is moving in that direction now, especially with the, with the release of the Black Panther movies. Totally, yeah. and everybody's just embracing Absolutely, it so much more. Yeah. I love it. We also have Demi Lee Nell Peters, yes. Mr. Universe, who's a good friend of the Expresso show. She didn't showcase at Fashion Week. She uh, modeled for the what? first time in her wow. New York Fashion Week debut oh, for wow. American designer Sherry Hill. Look at her give that, Look at that beauty girl. pageant. I'm not just a beauty pageant queen. I'm a <laughs> model, <laughs> supermodel. She looks confident. She looks composed. Nice. It's incredible to see her making her debut alongside huge models like the Hadid sisters, yeah. mm. Kaya Gerber. I mean, she's really doing her thing. Yeah. And then Jeannie D, of course, one of my favorites, Jeannie D, yes. also there for top billing at Fashion Week, wow. hanging out with Miss Demi Lee there to the left. Oh. So you want to tune into top billing um, interview. Nice. Faux fur, Jeannie loves animals. She's Good. a PETA friend, okay. I think. Wonderful. I'll ask her. <laughs> <laughs> better be. She better um, be, yeah. But how cool would, would this be that if she was actually doing like Victoria's Secret in like wow. a year from now? Oh, yeah. Hey? Scandalous, girl. Oh, but this is right. yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the local front, of course. Uh, yes. We just had our own SM Men's Wear Week. Did it keep up to international standards? Well, even better, I think. You know, yeah. one of the things that uh, New York has been suffering lately is that people are starting to wonder, is it still relevant? Is it still oh, actually wow. cutting edge? And London Fashion Week, well, especially the men's one, it's still sort of like on the forefront. But locally, we saw that the designers were not sort of playing to the pressures of being commercial. Yeah. They were still being cutting edge and pushing an agenda so I mean it, and also this year was the first time where I look at you um, <laughs> this that year wasn't was me with the fro, one of the first was... years where we saw a huge international like a um, pool coming through. So we had um, designers from the states coming through, yeah. um, League of um, Rebels, yeah. and um, Kit Hunter from Zimbabwe came through. So it was really like quite a, a, a cosmopolitan yeah. thing, all descending down to Cape Town to actually showcase that this is a relevant platform. And the key takeaway trends were oh, exactly to start was wow. gender fluidity. Sure. And from across the designers, you've got there like a sequence of um, jumpsuit mm -hmm. and. I've love to see a guy wearing that in the middle of uh, Tokyo James in that short um, maybe you should wear that to little gig this, this okay. I'm wearing this tonight I, I feel like Nick wants to wear <laughs> right? that at the club <laughs> you will see me in that just gloves nothing else okay. and I think the gender fluidity will stay for a long time because it's now actually more people on yeah. a contemporary level are comfortable to embrace it mm. and the second trend was clashing trends and now the oh, king wow. of clashing, clashing trends, trends is like shulap prints and, and trends so don't be afraid like go crazy I mean you've got shulap over there you've got um, an unknown union you can clash in like like sort of like dress it up a little bit or dress mm. it down I and mean, with the casual sort of captain uh, look um, and again I think these these are sort of things that people should start like celebrating their fashion a little bit more and talking yeah. about celebration 
you've got ceremonial sort of like details that we saw where guys were wearing sashes. Um, House of St. Luke showed like Obi belts and all of the guys looking a little bit more regal and yeah. going back into sort of the African prince. Yeah. I love heritage. it. I love it. Well, thank you so much to our fashion squad for keeping us informed each and every week. And on top of all of these trends and, of course, things that we need to take a, uh, note of, that is our fashion fix. We're going to be back with a little bit of fab or fail.